hey, what is going on guys? How are you guys doing? So today we have some super exciting news. We're checking out the FE Studio, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, one four scale Cloud Strife resin statue. So this is a brand new piece, which has just came out, and it's taken me by complete surprise. I just totally did not expect to see the statue. That's the thing about these one four scale resin statues. You just never know what to expect, which is why I love these statues. I think this may be the first 1-4 scale resin statue based off Cloud Strife from Advent Children. The only other statue which I can think of is the Masterpiece Art statue, which I would say came out like over 10 years ago, probably closer to 15 years. Yeah, this is a super old piece. I remember seeing the statue back when I was collecting the original Play Arts Advent Children figures. They weren't even Play Arts Kai yet, they were just Play Arts. So yeah, that's how old the statue really is. So for the most part, this is the newest AC Cloud statue out there. So the initial release dates on the statue is the first quarter of 2022, so it's a pretty long time away, it's basically one year. That's the thing about these resin statues. It always takes about one year from the initial promotional photos for the actual statue to be released. But as always, I will try my best to keep you guys updated on all these Final Fantasy VII statues. So it would really help out if you guys could hit that bell notification. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, so the first thing which I want to talk about is the fact that there's going to be two versions of the statue. So we have the standard edition and we have the deluxe edition. So basically the only difference is that the deluxe version comes with an extra arm. As you guys can see, it's an extended arm, so he can hold the buster sword completely straight. Which you know I think is a nice touch, I mean it's a very minor difference, but it does make a big change in the long run. Okay, so now for the actual statue itself. So I've got to say, I think the statue looks great. It seems to have a pretty nice sculpt, nice paint job, and uh, I do love the overall look of the statue itself. It's a very simple piece, but you know, I think it works well. I also just want to mention that, uh, I don't know, I think the statue looks a bit cartoony, like a bit animated. I don't think he looks exactly like how he did in the film. I think the face looks much younger here. I also think maybe the body proportions are a bit off. It seems like the head is a bit big. And the legs are a bit too long, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's just me, but uh, yeah, that is just what I can see from these initial promotional photos. So as always, I would love to hear your guys' opinions. So feel free to leave a comment below on what you guys think of the statue. So I think the hairpiece seems to be pretty nicely sculpted. I love the paint job here, and he does seem to have a pretty nice face sculpt. There's also quite a nice flowing motion to the statue. As you guys can see, the cloak is blowing in the wind, so it just kind of adds a nice feel to the statue. Here's a look at the arm holding the buster sword. It seems to be a pretty large piece, so yeah, I do like the fact that they made it in scale, because sometimes these statues and figures just don't make the buster sword the right size. I also love the base. As you guys can see, we have this nice platform, which is pretty common with these 1-4 scale resin statues. They just always seem to have this nice base, which is pretty high, so I just think it adds a grander scale to these statues. And of course, I love the fact that we have all these swords, like all these blades, around the base. Just like in the final scene after he defeats Sephiroth. It's a pretty iconic scene, so uh, yeah, I really do think they've captured that perfectly. Here we have some close-up details on the back. As you guys can see, we have all these holsters for all the blades. I mean, I assume we can probably fit all the blades here. I really hope these aren't made of resin. It's kind of hard to tell from the photos what type of material it is. So I assume they're probably going to be made out of like some type of fabric material. And uh, yeah, here we have a nice close up of the base. And as you guys can see, the base lights up, which is just amazing. It just looks so good. So we have these nice green and bluish lights around the edges with a bright yellow in the center, which I just think looks great. This is probably one of my favorite bases that I've seen. So I just like this a lot. I mean, I just love when these one fourth scale statues have a lido feature. I just think it makes the statue so much better. So I hope you guys like the statue. Let me know what you guys think of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, take it easy, guys.